Greetings, it's Maxo Diddly, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can set up a git ignore for your Unity project. So let's get right into it. So if you don't know how to set up a GitHub repo for your Unity project, click the eye up in the corner for a very quick tutorial. This tutorial is basically a follow-up to that one. So we've got a Unity project, and we're in our repo for it. And as you can see, we have over 17,000 changes. This is going to take a while to push up, and we don't actually need most of these files that Git wants us to push up. So we can create a file called a git ignore to tell Git, hey, ignore these files when tracking the changes in our repo and don't push them up. And before you think, oh no, but that means we have a broken project, no, most of, the, most of these files aren't actually needed, as Unity will generate them when you open the project. Or there may be some files that you simply don't need to push up. For instance, maybe you're taking some screenshots for your game to give to a marketing team. You don't need that on the repo, in most cases. So let's get right into how we can do it. So firstly, you need to go to where your Git repo is located. Now, if you're in GitHub Desktop, what you can do is, you can right click on the current repository up here and click on Show in Explorer. And this will open where your GitHub repo is in the file explorer. Now, we need to make a git ignore. You might already have a git ignore if you created one where you made your repo, but I'm going to assume you haven't made one. So you can right click, go to new, then go to text document. And what you're going to do is you're going to remove the entire name and you're literally just going to do dot git ignore. This will be in the description below if you want to copy and paste in case you don't want to make a typo but you want to call the file .gitignore. .gitignore is the file extension and there's no name for the file. Once you've got that, click on it and it'll say the file extension name will be changed. You click on yes. So we're going to right click on it, go to show more options and we're going to open it in Notepad++. You can open it in Visual Studio Code. You can open it in Notepad. You can open it in whatever you like. In the description below, there's going to be some text. I want you to copy and paste this text into your git ignore file. This is the git ignore that GitHub has that you can easily shove into your Unity project. So once you've pasted it in, be sure to save your work. Now go back to GitHub Desktop. Have you noticed something? Once you saved it, all of those changes are gone. In fact, we have one changed file and that is our git ignore. So instantly, we've made this project a lot more efficient when we push and pull. We're not going to be pushing up all of those files that get generated by Unity. Thanks for being a great audience, and if you want to know more about Git ignores, leave a comment, I'll make a follow-up, because there's a lot you can do with it, which is really useful.